Almost all of the biggest challenges that face policymakers today, from COVID-19 to climate change to the fight against poverty, require us to understand how people behave and how they respond to government action. And the proliferation of quantitative information, data about citizens and governments, about consumers and firms, these are valuable because they offer the potential for new understandings about human behaviour. That sort of explosion of information is meaningless unless we have ways of understanding it. The programme has a set of core modules that are shared amongst the two groups. Uh, and then uh, as, as you progress through the programme, you sort of branch out each your own way into other sort of uh, econ electives or political science electives. You sort of uh, both are taught from people from political science department and the economics department, and in the end, you uh, allow you to specialize in the area that sort of you, you find, find most interesting during your studies. So the degree is designed for students who are passionate about public policy, but who are equally passionate about developing a technical skill set that will allow them to sort of be at the forefront of a new generation of policymakers. These skills are going to benefit graduates who are seeking employment in the public sector, so in the civil service or in international organisations, or in the private sector organisations such as think tanks or consultancies or financial institutions. Studying at UCL kind of taught me to become a critical consumer of data and quantitative work and that now enforces kind of the research that I do in, in my PhD but it also enforces kind of how I look at information in the real world and how I'm going to kind of use these tools in um, any kind of job I might have going forward. What I enjoy most about studying data science at UCL is the way that we're learning uh, various different tools, various different techniques in order to uh, take data that might be organic data, data from the real world, and be able to put together into a model or into some kind of structure that's going to provide results that actually um, can feed into very important policy decisions.